Good morning children. Now we will be doing word problem sums of subtraction. So before starting these problem sums, there are two examples which are given on page number 32. Just go through them and read them thoroughly. And now we will be reading problem sums which are given on page number 33 that is worksheet 6 of your book. So let's read first problem sum. So first problem sum is Rahul had 2359 stamps. Out of these 1985 are Indian stamps and the rest are foreign stamps. How many foreign stamps did he have? Now we all know that this is a sum of subtraction. So first statement we'll write total number of stamps Rahul had then number of Indian stamps he had and what you have to take out you have to take out number of foreign stamps so now we will read the question again and we will write down the figures in front of the statements so don't forget to write down place values so first statement will be total number of stamps Rahul had that is 2359 and number of Indian stamps he is having 1985 and now we have to take out that how many foreign stamps Rahul had so what we will do we will subtract Indian stamps from the total number of stamps which Rahul had and you will get the answer now don't forget to put the mark of subtraction and separate answer to be written so you will subtract this this is a sum of regrouping that is of borrowing and when you will subtract it after borrowing you will get the answer so what is the answer 374 so answer is 374 foreign stamps children now let's read problem sum number two that is a poultry farm had 4721 hens if 2917 hens were sold out how many hens were left in the poultry farm now what is a poultry farm poultry farm is a place where hens are kept so number of hens in a poultry farm they were 4721 and number of hens sold from there that is 2917 so and what you have to take out here number of hens left in the poultry farm so when it is left that means this is a sum of subtraction so again this is a re regrouping sum you have to subtract it and you will get the answer so number of hens left we will subtract number of hens sold from total number of hens and you will get the answer and don't forget to write down place value don't forget to put the sign of subtraction and separate answer to be written these are very important points while doing your problem sums so solution you have taken out and you have got the answer after subtracting it that is dash hens so after subtracting you will get the number of hens left in the poultry farm now let's read problem sum number three that is mrs Reno wanted to buy a mobile for rupees 8755 but she had only rupees 2990 with her how much more money does she need? Now when we talk about more money, that means that this is a sum of subtraction. So, we will start writing the solution of this problem. So, what is the solution? You will write down first statement that is price of mobile. So, what is the price of mobile? That is 8755 and money Renu had that is 2,990 and money 
Renu needed more to buy a mobile. You will subtract money which Renu had from the price of mobile. You will get the answer. So, you will get what answer after subtracting? You subtracted and then see. So, answer money she needed more. Fine. So, again, place values to be written subtraction sign to be put and separate answer to be written this is very important while doing problem sums so take out your answer calculate it nicely let's read problem sum number four in a hall there are 2855 seats on a particular day 2096 people attended a meeting how many seats were vacant in the hall now vacant means khali so we'll start writing solution for this so number of seats in a hall how many seats were there in a hall 2855 and number of seats occupied because meeting was going on that is 2096 and number of seats vacant in the hall that how you will get you will subtract number of seats occupied from number of seats in a hall and you will get the answer again the same thing place values to be written subtraction sign to be written and separate answer to be written that is dash seats because you have to take out how many seats vacant okay now children I have discussed all the four problem sums with you which are given in worksheet 6. So complete these four questions in your notebooks and try to do work very neatly with writing proper statements and write down separate answers also and don't forget to write down place value and sign of subtraction so do it nicely calculate it